Spain. But um, things just didn't work out the way I had hoped to plan. And yeah, you know, um, Vanna called me in October and I was still waiting on Spain. And Vanna called me in October and was like, I heard you're still in Austria. And I was like, yeah, he was like, uh, want to come out for a visit? And I was like, yeah, no problem. You know, so yeah, um, he came and picked me up and we met and everything else is history. You know, there was, I had one practice with him and they were like, yeah, we want you to come on board and, you know, would you like that? And I was like, yeah, no problem. I'm, I've always liked the way they played up and down and so I was like, let's do it and it took off from there. Oh man, I mean, it's so many. First, you know, winning the first ever cup in Costa Nyberg, you know, um, that was special. It's always been, it's always good to be part of something special and to be the first one to do it as a team, you know, and that was really exciting. And then uh, after the cup follows the championship, you know, um, it was just, that was amazing. It was my um, first championship that I didn't, you know, won in Europe. And after 12 seasons, it was, it was long overdue and you know it just it couldn't have came at a better time you know um with the surroundings and close to nyberg been such a knit tight family um it was just amazing you know it was a lot of emotions that year with um Damir retiring you know um everything it was just it was a great season it was so many things you know um i couldn't i can just name so many and it's just i'm glad to be a part of this Well, um, what I'm sure a lot of people don't know about me is um, before every game, doesn't matter if it's home or away, I'm nervous. So I tend to use the bathroom four or five times before the tip jump ball and stuff. And, uh, you know, the players always give me crap about it. You know, they're like, I always got to go to the bathroom, you know. Your bladder's so small or something, but you know, it's, hey, it's been like that since high school. Um, yeah, it's just every game I'm nervous, no matter if it's who we're playing, you know, we could play a little league team and I, you know, I have to go to the bathroom. So yeah, um, second thing is before every game, uh, I have to drink an arm dude with. You know, it's my favorite drink here in Austria and yeah, that's just, it's like a ritual, in-game ritual, you know. So before every game, road game, whatever, if we have lunch, I drink an arm doula. Um, uh, third fact, um, yeah, I won the dunking contest my first year out of college. Um, I, was, I was young, 22. I could jump, I could fly a little bit. Yeah, so I won the, you know, I won the dunking contest in the Czech Republic. Uh, my first and only. <laughs> so, yeah, now you don't really see me dunking too much unless I'm really, really excited. Um, for, I've, you know, most people only can dream of this. And um, I've played in front of 22,000 people before. Um, in the NCAA tournament, amazing feeling. It was just, can't even explain it, you know. Um, it was awesome and something I'll never forget. Um, five, a lot of other people don't know this, but I'm only a semi-professional basketball player. I only practice once a day. Um, I'm an English native speaker in school, so in the mornings I'm at work in school and then I practice in the evenings. So, yeah, I'm 36 in July and still doing what I love to do and able to keep up and perform at a high level. I mean, um, you know, at the beginning of the season, you know, we knew there was gonna be changes. Um, everyone didn't expect us to have the year we had. You know, at the, um, everyone probably thought it was gonna go in the other direction that it took. But um, everyone doesn't probably realize, you know, um, there was, you know, with a new coach, it doesn't matter 
Um, doesn't matter what the coach brings to the table. You know, there's always going to be changes. There's always going to be different things brought in and, you know, um, different adjustments. And um, it's been a difficult adjustment for everybody, you know, trying to, you know, catch on with coach's system compared to what we were used to. You know, so, um, but everyone's bought in now. Um, everyone is completely on the same page right now as everyone's seen from the last Vienna game. Um, I think in the end that we will succeed. You know, it's just been a bumpy road, you know, ups and downs. But a lot of different characters on this team. We've been together quite some, quite a long time, four or five years actually this team has been built together. So eventually when things start to change, you know, people's routines start to change, it tends to mess with people a little bit, but we're all professionals. So we've taken it in stride and we've just kept, keep, we just kept building and getting stronger. And we've always said, I think Ramos told coach in the beginning of the year, relax coach, relax, April's coming. And April will make our noise. And it's April now. And Vienna was proof of that, that April's here. BK is ready to go.